Second quarter economic growth surged 4.1 percent, the best it's been since the third quarter of 2014. Almost immediately, the strong GDP report sparked debate as to whether it was a one-time shot. Here are the facts. In early July, the Wall Street Journal surveyed 62 economists, and the consensus forecast for the four quarters through June 2019 called for an average quarterly growth rate of 2.7 percent. The consensus forecast last month predicted a 4.1 percent quarterly growth rate in the second quarter of 2018, which was precisely correct. The consensus is not always correct, however, and they have missed calling recessions in the past. Of the four components of the economy, consumer spending is the most important because it drives 69% of growth. The 2.7% growth in consumer expenditures in the second quarter extended a long and strong upward trend that began in March 2009 and kicked off the 110-month expansion. Consumer spending feeds on itself, and it is a sustainable trend, which is really good news because it is the engine of growth. Net exports contribution to GDP growth in the second quarter of 2018 was also a big positive, but it's unlikely the start of a trend. The surge in net exports was driven partly by a rush of soybean orders from buyers before imposition of a new tariff in early July. The other factor boosting exports was domestic oil production. Net exports contributed more to GDP because U.S. imports of oil declined. This is a sustainable trend. In 2008, oil imports accounted for 3.7 percent of GDP. That's come down to 1.1 percent. Those 2.6 percentage points of economic activity are being spent on domestic, not foreign, oil production, and that growth is kept in the U.S. GDP growth accelerated sharply in the 12 months ended June 30th. Since the expansion began in April of 2009, the economy grew at a 2.2 percent average annual rate compared with 2.8 percent in the most recent 12 months. That's a surge of more than 20 percent over the long-term trend. A key factor in U.S. growth is private sector growth, which accounts for 85 percent of U.S. economic activity. It's the main driver of new jobs and wage growth. Compared to a nine-year average growth rate of 3 percent, the private sector grew 3.2 percent in the most recent 12 months. The private sector has been growing faster than the overall economy. This chart shows the Trump administration's forecast for GDP growth versus forecasts from the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office and the U.S. Federal Reserve. The difference between the Trump administration's growth forecast and those of the CBO, Fed, and private economists surveyed in the Wall Street Journal is explained by differing opinions about supply-side economics. Most economists remain skeptical of the economic benefits that will result from the recent cut in federal taxes. That's the facts.